Hi, hello. This is Anub. Today we are going to talk about Windows 11, Windows 10 patches for November Patch Tuesday. And we are going to check out what are the zero day vulnerabilities that Microsoft released with November Patch Tuesday that is November 14th. And this Patch Tuesday is going to be a bit different if you look at Windows 11 patches. In previous Patch Tuesdays, we used to have two patches for two separate patches for Windows 11, one for Windows 11 21 H2 and the other one for Windows 11 22 H2. Now with the release of 23 H2, Windows 11 is going to have one patch for 22 H2 and 23 H2. So don't skip the video. Let's go ahead and check this out. And please consider subscribing this channel if you have not yet. So let's look into November 14th Patch Tuesday updates. We are going to look into zero day vulnerabilities, Windows 11, Windows 10 version updates, fixes, non-issues, improvements and new features as well. There are a lot of new features coming up with 23H2 release of Windows 11. Then we are going to check out what are the options to deploy patches using SSEM and Intune. We will also check manual download options. What are the options to download the patches manually for offline devices? What are the patch automation scenarios that we have? That is also we are going to check in this video. Now let's look at zero day vulnerabilities of November 2023. There are three zero day vulnerabilities that Microsoft published and fixed with November 2023 patch Tuesday. 36025, 36033, 36036. These are the three zero day vulnerabilities and 36025 is for Windows Smart Screen Security Feature Bypass Vulnerability and 36033 is Windows DWM Core Library Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability and 36036 is Windows Cloud Files Mini Filter Driver Elevation of Privilege. In total, Microsoft has fixed 58 flows with November Patch Tuesday. As you can see, some of these are publicly disclosed one. DWM Core Library Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability is publicly disclosed and there could be chances of exploitation. So this is critical. You might need to patch as soon as possible. Now let's look into the build versions of Windows 11 and Windows 10. Windows 11 23H2 is released and that is why a new build version is available now. It is 22.631.27.15 and the KB article for 22H2 and 23H2 are same. That is KB5032190. This particular KB is for 23H2 as well as 22H2 of Windows 11 and Windows 11 21 H2 has a different KB article that is KB5032192 and the build number for 21 H2 after the installation of November patch is going to be 10.0.22.0.0.0.26.00 and for Windows 10 versions there is not much changes as you can see 22H2 and 21H2 has the same KB article. Build version for 22H2 Windows 10 is 19045-3693 and build version of 21H2 is 19044-3693. These are moment 4 features which is getting released for all when you install the KB article 5032190. When you install KB article 5032190, all these moment 4 features listed over here will get enabled. As I mentioned, you can see a lot of new features coming out with 23H2 version of Windows 11. This is going to be a controlled feature rollout. So all the devices in your organization 
are not going to get this unless and until you upgrade it to 23H2 version of Windows 11. I'm not going to go through all these features but you can pause the video and check this out and I will provide all these details into the description of the video so do check that out to get more details about new features of Windows 11 and this is the continuation of control feature rollout of Windows 11 now let's look into new improvements for Windows 11 and Windows 10 with November patches so let's look at Windows 11 first as you can see there are various improvements in this table some of them are very standard DST changes and then name changes currency changes COSA changes for mobile operators search box performance improvements kernel vulnerable driver block list update all these are part of new improvements with windows 11 patches of november patch tuesday this is not part of control feature update which we have mentioned in the previous slide now let's look into windows 10 details over here again there are some dst improvements and then windows kernel vulnerable driver block list update is there as you can see this is same for windows 11 and windows 10 and even this is same for windows 11 and windows 10 so there is no significant improvements as part of this past tuesday apart from the moments features or control feature rollout scenarios now let's look into windows 11 windows 10 fixes with november past tuesday there are a lot of fixes coming up for windows 11 and some for windows 10 also there are a couple of memory leak issues got fixed with november patches and then there was a third party wallpaper application related issue that was also got fixed print driver issues got fixed dynamic lighting related issue got fixed cellular settings related issue got fixed and Kerberos load balanced service issue got fixed there are some CSP issues got fixed related to firewalls and then Windows Hello issue was there and that is also got fixed and this update fixes the PowerShell related issues Robocopy related issues also got fixed device management client sync session related issue also got fixed with November patches there was an issue with Dave Drive volumes and that is also got fixed with november patches and even outlook printing issue that we have highlighted through our blog post also got fixed with november patches and if you look at windows 10 fixes you can see many of these fixes are applicable for windows 10 also for example memory leak issues and then print issues outlook address related issues and then windows defender application control related issue also got fixed with november patches now let's look into windows 11 windows 10 november patch tuesday non-issues or the issues which are not fixed with november patches for windows 11 and windows 10 so you know there are some issues with bitlocker error 65000 requires device encryption this is an incorrect report and this is not fixed yet with this patches as well there's a workaround for this so if you are impacted with this issue you can always refer to the link in the description of the video and you can do a workaround but Microsoft has not fixed this issue with November patch Tuesday patches and this is applicable for Windows 10 and Windows 11 as you can see over here currency issue for Croatia is not fixed for Windows 10 but it is fixed for Windows 11 for Windows 11 it is fixed for Windows 10 it is not fixed yet but there is a work around manual workaround Microsoft has provided to fix the issue if you want and for Windows 11 this is the Windows 11 table you can see a smart sound technology driver related issue and you need to coordinate with vendors to update the drivers so that we can remove the block from Microsoft side for any upgrade scenarios etc and we will update the description of the video whenever we come to know about new non-issues 
after installing November patches. So do check the description of the video. Now let's look into SSEM options to deploy November 2023 patch Tuesday patches. If you are an SSEM admin, you can go to SSEM console, navigate to software library, overview, software updates, all software updates and then you can follow the steps mentioned below. First thing first, you need to do a WSU sync by right clicking on all software updates node over here and then after the sync, all the patches will normally appear over here in this part of the console and you can right click on each patch and deploy it or you can do different options such as ADR rules. You can create ADR rules and automatically create software update groups and then you can ask ADR to deploy those software update groups after creating packages to a set of devices. All these details are explained in the previous video over here. If you click on I button in YouTube, you would be able to see full guide for SCM patch deployment. I would recommend to watch that if you are not familiar with SCM patching. Now let's look into Intune way of deploying patches. There are different ways to deploy patches in Intune. If you use quality update kind of a way, you don't need to do anything. It will automatically install the patches as per the policy which you have targeted to Intune managed devices. So you don't need to do any of the activities related to Patch Tuesday. You just need to perform the testing and check whether there is any impact with Patch Tuesday or not from the client side. On the server side, you don't need to do anything and the second way of doing patch deployment using Intune is expedite the patches in Intune that is the second option if you have some zero day vulnerabilities and you want to patch it immediately if you want to patch all your devices immediately then you are going to use this method so you can say okay I need to deploy this particular patch within zero day the patch Tuesday itself or you have an option to wait for one day and deploy the patches to all the devices because of zero day vulnerability or something. You can refer to Intune patching process in detail. If you click on I button over here in YouTube, you would be able to get those videos. So if you are not familiar with different methods of Intune patching, then I would recommend to watch the previous video where you will get all the details. Now let's look into manual way of downloading the patches. There are still offline devices in the factory floor or somewhere else in your organization probably you might need to download the patches manually and then install it on those devices so this is the website you can go to for downloading November patches catalog.update.microsoft.com and use the search box to find out a particular patches for November 2023 you can use this keyword to get the accurate results now let's look into a fully automated way of patching. Microsoft is offering a service called Windows Auto Patch and that will take care of patching for your organization. IT admin part is very limited if you have Windows Auto Patch enabled for your Intune managed devices because all these workload going to be managed by Windows Auto Patch service. So you don't need to worry about pilot testing etc etc all those will be managed by windows auto patch service from microsoft if you want to know more about windows auto patch again you can refer to previous video by clicking on i button over here now that you have seen all the details about Windows 11, Windows 10, November Patch Tuesday updates, zero day vulnerabilities etc. Hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. See you around.